So, talk about the schema on the seminaries when you were in Rome. The seminaries and the formation for priesthood, yes. Um, Gilly Young and Rush were the two, they were, they were the hosts of the day and they wanted, Clem Hodge was only ordained a year so he was close to what the seminaries were teaching. I'd been out seven years in a parish work and then two or three were years in Rome. And then Bernie Wallace had been on the staff in the seminary for quite a long time and he was able to do some further study. And uh, so they asked, what, sh what did we think should be the way to form priests for the future? Now I'd already, through contacts with the YCW, learnt about that they were putting a lot of young blacks anywhere who were coming to offering for the priesthood, that they would be, as I think I told you, associated with a priest who was a good pastoral worker. They'd live in uh, a community, four or five or six of them with him, and uh, help in the parish, and then do their theology and scriptural studies at night time. And uh, they were, in other words, in a few places already, they had to close the seminaries. And so I raised that as a possibility that, and also that we should be looking to um, older people, married people, who made a reasonable go of their marriages with their kids, and uh, who had a quite a evident love for Christ and the church, and people respected them, to ask them if they would take on the responsibility of being the leading the community. Gilly Young exploded. We are here to reform the seminaries, not to destroy them. And my attitude to what I call bull sessions, when you ask a, you know, this sort of a question, you throw everything onto the table and then you weed out what is impractical for the moment and what is possible in the future. But so I just said, oh, well, he doesn't want to hear what I've got to say. So I ordered the most expensive things on the menu and drank the best wines <laughs> and shut up. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the 